Cam, what do you think clicked for you guys during that Baylor game? Uh, you know, I think our effort, um, you know, just being resilient. Uh, I guess you could say our shots wasn't falling from the outside, but uh, for us to get those uh, hustle plays down the stretch was uh, good for us. Is that nice for you to see, even though you guys' shots weren't falling, you still found a way to win? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, that's why we try to hang our hats on defense. Um, you know, forcing the team to miss shots as well is, um, will help us more than it will. How did you feel about what you and Isaac were able to do in that game? You know, um, you know they're just showing the ceiling that they're going to reach soon. So um, it wasn't anything that really surprised me because I know they're, they're always capable of it you know, at any time. So, um, you know, it just came at the perfect moment. Apart from his size, what do you think makes you so good at blocking shots? His timing. You know, his timing is uh, he can really uh, time a guy's shot to not foul you know, foul the shooter at the same time as he blocks the shot. I think that's what he's grown into, you know, throughout the season. He got in a lot of foul trouble early on. But now, you know, you've seen, you've seen him grow and uh, be able to play 30, 35 minutes every night. You talked about after the Kansas game about how the adversity you guys have been through won't by itself make you guys better. You guys have to make yourself better. Do you feel like the other night was an example of that, of you guys making progress? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we, we, we can kind of, um, we, we came together, you know, throughout the game. Um, we knew that we were on the road and we were the only people that like were really on our side. So. Uh, one time out, we just kind of, you know, just brought each other in and uh, and, and refused to uh, lose. Them, I guess. How important is it to build on that? Uh, for sure. I mean, it's, it's really huge. You know, trying to uh, gain momentum going to the Big 12 tournament would be huge for us. Um, uh, but I mean, anything can happen in the month of March. So, you know, that's what we've been we've been keep on having a great spirit every practice every day so far um, for these moments. Is there any more pride than normal on the line to not finish last in the conference? Yeah, for sure. I mean, no, but nobody wants to finish last, so, you know, we'll treat this game just like any other game. I mean, we'll prepare the same. You no, know, it's not, not looking for a consolation prize, but we're definitely not looking for last place either. You guys, don't have, you guys don't have any seniors on the roster, but you have a couple managers for seniors. What, are, what have those guys meant to you? Oh, you know, they, meant, they meant a lot to us. You know, those guys really, like, without... Without their dedication to this program, you know, none of this would be possible. You know, anything that we've asked for, and you know, they they they've done everything for us. You know, so uh, we appreciate them in, in the most ways we can, and uh, you know, we love those guys. When you think back to you know preseason when OSU was picked to finish last in the conference versus now at this point, how do you think you've changed with the adversity the team's gone through? Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell again? How, just how do you think you've changed since the start of the season? Um, mentally, I don't, I don't think I'm really changed at all. I mean, just that we have a little less guys on the team than we did before. You know, I still don't think we're a last place team. You know, especially the way we're playing at this at this moment right now. You know, if we were to start the season all over again, I think that, um, things would be different. You know, but you know, you can't really go back in the, in the past and change anything. So, uh, you know, I think I, I feel the same. About the same. You guys know you can beat West Virginia since it happened earlier this season. What are some of the things you're kind of focused on to be able to do that? You no, know, continue to rebound. You know, they're a team that doesn't want to be last either. So you know that it's going to be a very competitive game. Um, you know, and there's going to be a lot of effort on both ends of the floor. We just have to be the hardest playing team out there. How has the adversity you guys have been through this season made, made you guys better? Or how will it make you better even beyond basketball? Uh, you know, I think, I don't know, we learned a lot of life lessons as well, you know. Um, I think it made us better in a way just to bring bring the guys that were who went through it together. I mean, just know that we can't give up, you know, just staying resilient throughout hard times and just knowing that um, you know, you stay positive, that um, good things will come.